I want to talk to you guys about um, something that is vital in any relationship and environment, whether it's dating, marriage, work, friendship, or relatives. It's um, basically you showing people how you are to be treated and not letting them decide how you are to be treated. And this is very important because it can shape relationships, it can cause problems, it can alleviate problems, it can make things work well, it can make things go sour. But what most people don't understand is if you have a friend who you just feel doesn't get you and they are constantly doing something that you think that they know that you don't like, or you have a lover or a partner or a husband or a wife that, you know, is constantly disrespecting you and your wishes or whatever it is that they're doing, whoever it is, any relationship, whether it's a coworker, a boss, you are to blame because it's your responsibility to show people how you are to be treated and not let them decide. People will only do to you what you let them. And there are so many issues in this world today because people simply don't do that. You know, most people, can't say most, I should say, some people, of course, are non-confrontational. Some people are. Those that are non-confrontational, of course, you know, they, in some type of way, um, express how they feel and they let people know. So maybe those are people that um, typically, you know, aren't in positions where people are disrespecting them constantly or taking them for granted. But there are some people that are non-confrontational. And those people tend to be, um, <clears throat> you know, seen as pushovers. And they have issues like, you know, with people taking advantage of them or totally misunderstanding them, not respecting them fully just really not treating them the way that they want to be treated but they are to blame because you have to show people how to treat you um and what the reason that that is so important is because you have some people out there that will take an advantage take advantage of you if you let them if you give them an inch they'll take a mile and that can be broken down into if you let someone drive your car once and they bring it back on empty, do you think they're not going to do it again if you don't say anything? Yeah, they're prob they probably are because they feel like, hey, they didn't say something the first time. They probably won't say anything this time, and it just goes on and on. That's with anything, whether you're in a, a relationship and um, your partner hits you and you don't do anything the first time or you don't do the right thing, which is to let them know that that is not going to happen, that you are not going to stand for that. If you don't do that, more than likely they're going to hit you again. So any situation, whether it's a coworker, you know, you you have a problem with a coworker and you don't do the proper thing, the professional thing, the problem is going to continue, I guarantee. And it's probably going to escalate because once again, people are given an inch and then take a mile. It's just human nature for some people to do that. Not everyone can walk over people and not everyone can disrespect someone. Some people out there treat people with respect because that's how they want to be treated themselves. But you have some people that you really have to put in their place or else it can get out of hand. I mean, this can apply to your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your cousin, your best friend, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your wife, your husband, your teacher, your coworker, your boss, anyone. You really do have to put people in their place because if you are in a relationship um like again not just a, she a sexual relationship or dating whatever any relationship if you're if you're in one and the person <clears throat> is doing things that you just don't like then obviously you have not expressed to them that you don't like them and you haven't done it with such um you know, power that they understand that it's not something that you take lightly. It's something that you're serious about. You can't expect someone to respect you until you respect yourself. And if you respect yourself, you're going to let them know, hey, I don't appreciate that. I don't want you doing that. I'm not going to do that. Please don't do that. You know, whatever it is, you have to stand firm on it. 
And um, this conversation was an idea because I was just having a conversation with a friend of mine. And we were talking about her mother and how her mother was in several abusive relationships. And she was also in several non-abusive relationships. And when she was explaining to me the type of relationships that were abusive, like, you know, how the guys were and how it always ended up the same, how the abuse started, how it always ended the same, and how her mother just never wanted these guys to leave and how she never really saw them for who they were and she defended them I'm like you know it was something in your mother like even though she said her mom was fighting the guys back something in her mother let them know that she was a type that was going to take it in the first place because I know some women that are like that and I know some others that have they, they may be with or have been with guys that were previously abusive to women but it's something about this woman that they say hey she's not like that and that can apply to anything whether it's you getting respect from someone or whether it's you um, whatever it is basically the person can tell how you carry yourself that you respect yourself and that they can't treat you any kind of way and I would also like to add that, like, you know, assertively putting people into their place is necessary because I did mention putting people into their place. And I know that um, a lot of you all would think, you know, oh, that means telling someone off. Well, it means assertively putting them into their place because no matter whether you're in a professional environment or you're talking to someone on the street or you're talking to a relative, you have to um, show them that you are someone to be respected because speaking to them with a calm, respectful tone and using thought out words will make them respect you more than if you approach them being ignorant. Um, there are some people in this world that command respect without even saying a word. It's because of the way they carry themselves. It's the just the things that they exude. And that's what you have to do. You have to show them, you know. If someone, especially a good example is like a um, <clears throat> someone in your workplace that is, you know, they have a little authority over you or they're higher up, may not even work in your department or whatever. If you're having a problem with them, you probably don't want to go to them with um, being loud and ignorant. Because you could get reprimanded. But what you do want to do is go to them. And you can simply make someone, you know, you want to put a little fear in them. Enough fear that they will know that you're not the one. Not the one to disrespect. Not the one to take for granted. Not the one to uh, stereotype or assume that they can be treated a certain kind of way. And it won't, you know, affect them. But you are not the one. So if you go to them. And you simply tell them, you know, I really don't appreciate the way that you've been treating me or I don't appreciate the things that you've been saying or doing or how you've been doing this or how you've been saying this. I don't appreciate it. I wouldn't do you that way. And I don't appreciate you doing me that way. And, you know, whatever you whatever environment you're in, the words would obviously apply to that specific environment. And it's just important that you come off as respectful to this person and as a respectful person because I'm sure everyone can relate to being a person that has felt um, used, you know, misunderstood, um, disrespected, just taken advantage of and I'm sad to say people but it's our fault. It's our own fault because once again and lastly it is our duty to show people how we are to be treated. It is not up to them to decide how we are to be treated and I really do want your comments on this because I'm sure everyone can relate to this any type of relationship environment um, I'm sure you've had this problem before or you may even be someone that has decided hey you know this person doesn't stand up for themselves they don't respect themselves so I'm gonna just do this I'm gonna treat them this way I'm gonna say this to them and it's gonna be okay so let me know and thanks for listening Oh, life is 
bigger 